This what is, is a, one question? <laughs> this is for all the incoming Waterloo engineering students. So you probably clicked this video because you're just about to enter the world of Waterloo Engineering. Pretty crazy, congrats for getting there. But now I have a few tips from someone who recently graduated. I think the first piece of advice that I have is simply not to worry too much about the external noise and what other people are doing. I think that in an environment like Waterloo, it's so easy to get caught up in what other people are doing and it feels like it's a constant grind. It's a lot easier said than done, but I think honestly, once you start to realize that it's okay to follow in your own path, life becomes a lot easier. Should I just stand in this corner, like? Okay, bet. Well, you're gone though. <laughs> the second piece of advice that I have is use your co-ops wisely. So the nice thing about Waterloo Engineering is that you have six different co-ops to literally just work at a startup or any company for four months at a time. It's a super rare opportunity, and I think a lot of people think that they need to figure it all out at once but all you really need to do is do stuff that is interesting to you. And it's okay if each of them are different. Use co-ops as an opportunity to try new things and don't worry about getting all the same internships or optimizing for all of the big name brands and things like that. If you try startups and you try big companies, the diversity of experience actually helps a lot. So I definitely recommend just diversifying your co-op experience and not being afraid to experiment and explore. Uh, what else did I learn in Waterloo? Holy sh this is perfect. No, it's, it's, no, no, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> I don't think I'll walk into a pole here. Oh, my bad. <laughs> so close to my face. The next thing that I'd probably say is don't be afraid to actually work on your ideas. In an environment like Waterloo, there are so many people who are working on new ideas and things like that. But the other thing that I wanted to nuance is that it doesn't have to be a tech idea. I think Waterloo has, especially Waterloo Engineering, has this culture where everyone thinks that they need to be building a unicorn startup or something tech related. Just because you're in engineering doesn't mean that you have to do that. And so I would recommend just trying those creative pursuits. Maybe that's making content, maybe that's crocheting, whatever it is, I would just recommend just trying and doing it. I think it can be really easy to get caught up in your studies and feel like you don't have any time for that, but some of the best things happen when you actually let yourself be curious and explore those interests. And don't pigeonhole yourself in just engineering or just tech stuff. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Another piece of advice that I have is don't be afraid to ask for help. And I know that sounds super cliche, but a lot of people don't actually do it. A lot of people think that they can fake it till they make it. And although I agree with that to some extent, I think that you can get so much more out of life when you actually share when you're struggling and when you fail, especially in Waterloo, where there's just so much imposter syndrome that can happen in your classes or with co-ops. It's easy to feel like you need to put on this front, like you need to be perfect all the time. But if there's something that I learned, the best things happen when you're open to being vulnerable and you're open to actually telling people when you need help. So if you're ever struggling with school, life, whatever, find a good group of friends and talk to them about it. And you'd be surprised as to how much support you can actually get from that. What advice do you have, friends? For Waterloo students? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is pretty general. Tally or bust is not actually a thing that you need to care about. I don't know if my whole hand covered it or not, so. Oh, and one last thing, Cali or Bust doesn't actually matter. I don't think I covered the whole thing again. Dude, okay. I mean, enough, there's a little bit of sun peeking through because the sun is eh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Dude. See, this is the ship it mentality. You just gotta mm -hmm. like do it. Best. Half of this footage I probably won't that be that happy with, but not because of you, okay. but because of I, me. <laughs> no, no, no.